BK, also one of his Smash 4 characters, but he plays lots, lots of different things. The Olimar versus DK, uh, if this is anything like like in Brawl, this was pretty, pretty ugly. Uh, the reason I say that being is that um, Olimar looks looks and feels kind of more like his Brawl inc incarnation in terms of like the effectiveness of his, like his up smash is really good and safe. He has like, his Pikmin are pretty effective. Uh, this looks pretty good in this game. But he still has to land. He has that whistle, which is a really nice tool for landing because it gives you some uh, some super armor frames. Oh, interesting trade. Legit tries to land with a down B, which can co like has cobble potential and had basically no landing leg. That, that's that's a really good way for him to to mix up and get a really strong punish. Hey, how's it going? So How are you doing? good. You? I'm doing all right. So I'm I'm joined here. What was your tag again? Z7. You were Z7. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so here we are. We're just starting game one of Legit versus Sandman. I don't know if you've seen this matchup much, but this uh, I is have not seen uh, Donkey Kong against Olimar a lot. Oh yeah, I, I am surprised. Uh, I am happy to see Sandman back on Olimar though. Yep. Yeah, I, I, he's he's gone Rosalina a few times in. He his went. Ro he matches. did go Ganondorf actually against Zarango. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah, he was playing with Ganondorf as well, and he takes the first off against Legit. I don't know if you know the storyline between these two, but these two seem to play at almost every tournament they're both at, and Legit virtually always wins. Oh, so so, so Sandman, Sandman really wants to win. Yes, and he told me early, like, uh, he's often resigned to his fate against Legit, but going into this set, he told me that he wants to be on stream specifically so that he can start to, like, learn. But that down B, I was just talking about that. When you land with down B, uh, it's it, a good it, tool now. It's a really good tool. Uh, I believe it has some armor, and I think we saw that there, but it can also... It has almost no landing leg, and it can combo into up smash. And he just killed him really early with that. Down B and headbutt now have armor, I believe. Yes. Yeah. So makes some special headbutt's actually a decent edge guarding tool if you read a roll or it's oh, just a yeah. normal getup. Yep. Now it's definitely another couple scary tools in his arsenal. Like you have to respect those moves a lot more than you had to than you had to before. Yeah, you already had to respect oh, Donkey tried. Kong as a character. He went for the jump, or sorry, the punch, but yeah. Sandman was able to step Ooh, it out. And he did it again. Down B into time, up smash. The, the floor clap into up smash. Yeah, that's so strong. So legit 24-7 takes game one. Uh, Sandman was looking good at the beginning of the match. However, once... Well, I wasn't went, here for the beginning. So yeah, was... he took the first stock with Olimar, and it was looking even up until the point where Legit got that first. The first of the two of those confirms. Oh. So... Yeah, he really so maybe maybe Sandman will have to learn from like how he played the start of the match. Yeah, and realize okay, legit's realizing what I'm doing. Because maybe either legit conditioned himself against what Sandman was doing. Yeah, or Sandman started autopiloting, which is also an entire possibility. I think I, I feel like that first down beat up smash might have thrown him off a little bit. Uh, so I I don't think he was ready for that to be a thing that he had to watch for. And he wasn't ready for it the second time either, so I think he just needs to like respect that a bit more. Just watch a little more closely, because when when you're juggling Donkey Kong, uh, especially when you're a character with Olimar who has like a lot of nice fast hitboxes, you want to like oppress him as much as as you can when he's in the air. But he probably wasn't watching for that animation to happen. So when he, he when he started, he may doing have been the, expecting the down air. Oh no, that oh, forward that spike. spike! That was brutal. Oh uh, yeah, no, le legit is fully willing to just swing like. He's one of those players that doesn't get scared, and if he thinks he can do something really funny looking to you, he'll go for it. And, like, that means he'll throw out forward air spikes, he'll throw out down, down B combos, and yeah. all sorts Considering of... Considering he plays many different characters, he, he probably, like, has adopted the person like, of, like, I do oh, no. anything. Like, look at that, he just The spike up. into the grab, he tried to get the cargo through off stage, but he... Uh, Sandman was oh, able there's to mash that, out. there's that side B you're talking about in the forward smash. That killed, killed at, at 79, 79 after the hit. 79 after the hit, 57 before. Like, that's oh, just, no. it's so strong. Uh, double up it, air into double up air. Oh, I tried to get okay. the super punch, but missed. And yeah. Sandman was able to react back with a purple Pikmin. He jumped too high. And, uh, yeah, Sandman was was right there. And he's, yeah, I'm just going to up smash you. But he still has a lot of ground to make up. Legit has worked away a huge lead thanks to these super early KOs. But got rid of that purple Pikmin, yeah. which is good. The purple Pikmin are really annoying. The, the like for one, they have really strong smash attacks and aerials. Like they deal the most knockback. But on top of that, uh, when when they're, when you throw them as a projectile, they're the, the only one of the Pikmin that actually like sends yeah, you into deals trouble. Knockback. So yeah, you can cheese. Ooh, and, and just the cargo, the cargo down throw off yeah. stage. Yeah, that was that was a fast set. Um, again, I think it was just all those super early kills that just. Legit just like surged ahead 
and never look back for